so into this song. And I still remember the night you came up to me out of the cold and you go, how can somebody listen to the Beatles after they listen to Blow Up the Outside World mm. by Soundgarden? You're like, and I said to you, I go, you know what's crazy that you could tell Chris was a Beatle fan when you yeah. hear that jam, but I get what you were saying that day. Like, it was such. I changed my perceptions great. on that. I don't. I, I became a much bigger Beatles Me fan too. later on. Me too. But back then, but look, Blow Up the Outside World is a masterpiece. That song sounds His voice is great on it. It's a masterpiece of sound, everything about it. It's like a spiritual experience, that song. That song is a fuck. And if you're high, if you're like sitting in your living room and you smoke a joint, you put the headphones on, you listen to that. Oh my God. That song's incredible. It's crazy how I had views. I hated the Beatles. Yeah, give me some of that. Especially if you're high and you listen to this, Joey. There's some music that's just accentuated by weed. I like it towards the end when they do the drum thing and he says that he holds that one note. Yeah. Oh my God. Keep it going, Jamie. Keep it going. What a talented motherfucker that guy was. <sighs> now, talking to the Beatles, after we didn't have appreciation for the Beatles growing up, not because I didn't like them, because everybody always broke my balls on how good they were. And I've told this story before. I love John Lennon, but the day John Lennon got shot, it was the happiest day of my life. <laughs> Because I won the argument now. Because every time you couldn't fucking say nothing with Beatle people. Every time you said, like, oh, my God, I went to see The Stones last night. What a great album, Shattered. What a great album, Miss You Is. Some motherfucker would say, yeah, it's a great album, but wait till the Beatles get back together. Fucking Stay With Heaven's a great song. Yeah, it's great, but wait till the Beatles get back together. They always had me. I always lost that argument. You had to walk away like, yeah, he got the point. The day John Lennon got shut, that argument went out the window. <laughs> Bitch, they ain't getting back together. So shut the fuck up now, okay? It's Led Zeppelin who's running things. 
In fact, <laughs> they had a Beatle mural at my high school. Somebody put an extra John Lennon the oh, day Jesus. after he got shot because we didn't want to hear that argument no more. <laughs> Everybody got sick of that fucking argument, all right? And I love John. I don't want people, you know, I love all those albums, fucking Shave Fish and all that stuff. While my guitar gently weeps. Oh, I love all that shit. Oh, my God. I love the Beatles from Re Revolver on. Once they did the ass and started smoking dope, I like all that shit. That's really good stuff. Mm. Before that, she loves you, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay. I get it, but no. It was a different time. Yeah. <clears throat> different time of the world. When they went to India and smoked with that Maharishi and started playing all that shit and opened up their, their horizons, they were good, man. Isn't it 